in this video we're going to use calculus to sketch to sketch this graph so let's uh, let's see where what happens when we put zero into the equation when you put zero into here and into here the whole thing breaks down because you're not allowed to divide by zero so dead on zero it breaks down so um, so we know there's something fishy going on at that at dead on zero so let's investigate what happens just to the right of zero uh, so let's say one over a microscopic um, distance just to the right of zero so let's just randomly choose this point here so at x equals 1 over 1000 you would put this into here so this thing here would be this and then uh, this whole thing here would be e to the power 1000 because um, all right if, if you put this number into the x here then this thing here would be e to the power 1 over 1 over 1000 so now let's tidy this up. 1 divided by 1 over 1000, that's the same as you keeping this the same, times the reciprocal of this, which would be 1000 over 1, which turns out to be 1000. So, uh, so at x equals 1 over 1000, um, it would be this block times this block. This is a fraction, so it gets multiplied to the top. So that will then give you this. So, um, so at a microscopic distance from just to the right of zero at 1 over 1000 uh, the y value would be this thing here so uh, let's let's try and investigate what happens well, let's try and investigate what what this really means so hang on so uh, so glancing at this I hope you can see that this thing here would be a lot would be a lot bigger than the number 1000 because I know e is um, e is 2.7 something let's just imagine it's 3 3 to the power 1000 over the actual number 1000 this thing here will be a lot bigger than this thing here so overall this will be very very big let, let me illustrate it in another way at the moment you've got one block here break this block up as one block times another block um, 3 to the power of 7 is roughly 1,000 roughly 1,000 so so you know that the this roughly 1,000 block will cancel out this 1,000 block leaving you with 3 to the power of 993 which is going to be a massive number so just to the right of 0 we know it's going to be a very very big number so just to the right of 0 we know it's going to be very very big so the graph should go all the way up there now investigate what happens just to the left of zero. Let's select x equals negative one over one thousand. So this is just to the left of zero. So what happens at um, x equals this number here? So that would be x e to the power of negative one thousand. Because if you have e one over negative one over one thousand, if you tidy this up, it will become negative. 1000 so now you've got um, one block times another block this block gets multiplied to the top um, I'm going to drag out the negative here so I can just concentrate on on this thing here so e to the power of of negative 1000 let's look at the graph e to the power of x e to the power of x looks like this negative negative 1000 you can see that it's going to be this block is going to be very 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 small very 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 small so very very small divided by the number 1000 is going to become uh, very 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 small so so we can set that the limit of this graph as x heads towards um, negative so as x heads towards zero from the negative side is actually equals zero so what that what that means is this what that means is just to the right of zero just to the right of zero it would be a very very small number but the thing is it would be a negative small number so you know it's going to jump somewhere over here so you know the graph is going to head towards zero so that's why we said the limit the limit is actually zero because it's heading towards zero but then when we were analyzing this it was negative very very small so you can think of it as being like a very very small number a negative small number that's why it's that's why it's um, it's a very small negative number so it's going to be around here 
but the limit is actually zero because it is heading towards zero. So, so far, we know that the graph will head all the way up here. So, when we were doing this earlier, when we were doing this earlier, the limit as you approach zero from the right hand side is actually infinity because this thing here is getting bigger and bigger. That's why, that's why the graph, as you head towards zero from the from the um, right hand side, is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So we say here the limit is heading towards infinity. Here we say the limit is heading towards zero because it is heading towards zero, and this one here is just going to get bigger and bigger. Okay, so so far we know this. So far we know that it's going to be very very big. And uh, if you approach zero from the um, from the left hand side, it's heading towards zero. Okay, so far, we uh, we will continue in the next video because we need to investigate what happens when x is very very big and when x is very very negative big. I will continue in the next video.